Welcome fellow journeyman electricians and aspiring electricians. Whether you're here to gear up for your electrical exam or just here to sharpen your skill and knowledge, you've come to the right spot. My name is Kane Monroe, and today we're gonna dive deep into some challenging questions that will put your whole knowledge to the test. So if you're new here, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any of my new content that's coming out. With that said, let's dive into the exam. All right, guys, here we go with the journeyman test questions. It's a 10 questions, and uh, this is video number seven. So let's, let me get me moved. Class two circuit conductors are allowed within an enclosure with power conductors only where they are introduced solely to connect equipment and where the conductors are routed to maintain a minimum separation of blank. And that's a inch and a, uh, that's a quarter inch, NEC 725-136D. What remedy would not be permissible to stop an objectionable current over an, an electrical system using the earth as a ground fault path? Remember the earth is a horrible ground fault path. What is the minimum what is the minimum total calculated service load for a 1,000 watt dishwasher, a 4,500 watt water heater, and a 75, uh, 750 watt garbage disposal? So remember it's less than four, four or less, so we don't have to multiply times 0.75. So we add those up and it comes up to 6,250 watts in EC220.53. <laughs> Excuse me, when an arc, AFCI protection is required for dwelling unit outlets. It is allowable to use a listed supplemental or protective circuit breaker installed in the or or origin of the branch circuit in combination with a list of branch outlet circuit type arc fault circuit interrupters installed in the first outlet box with the branch circuit when the conductor used to the first outlet box are 12 aug and no larger than no longer than 75 or 70 feet. So no, you can't be more than 75 feet away from the origination of the branch circuit, 75 feet of conductor. And that's 210-12A3B. Um, outlets for heavy duty lamp holders shall be calculated at a minimum of 600 VA to 2014 E. Underground cable and conductors installed under a building shall be in a raceway, 300.5C. What conduit type would not be acceptable for enclosing underground service conductors? E and T, and that's 230.30B. Usually what they'll do on this one, guys, is they'll um, give you four, four uh, question, uh, choices to choose from, and E and T will be your choice not to use. When a branch circuit supplies two or more receptacle outlets, what would be allowed to be connected to a 30 amp circuit? A single 30 amp outlet, and that's in 210.21B3. What is the maximum of three aug THWN compact conductor allowed in a section of two inch EMT that is not over 24 inches long? And that's the five of them. NEC Annex C Table C 1A. So make sure you're looking in those compact conductor um, titles when you're looking this one up. Mobile home service equipment. Mobile home service equipment shall be located in sight from and not more than blank feet from the exterior wall of the mobile home it serves. And that's 30 feet. So 550.32A is where you'll find that one in mobile uh, mobile home services. Guys, that's it. Um, if you remember to go through and highlight everything that I just went over and make sure you know where that's at, everything's at. So um, that's all I've got for today. And thank you for watching. Three, two, one. There you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed that journey through the electrical exam journeyman questions. Um, if you got anything out of it, or if you have any questions for me or questions about any electrical problems, leave them in the comment below.
and I'll get back to you. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up and share this with your fellow electricians to see what type of knowledge they have. Also, hit that subscribe button for me one more time, and I appreciate everything you got. That's all I got today, guys, so be safe out there.